Okay, hello there. I am Kelly Williams Brown. I write the adulting blog. I'm here with my friend Caitlin. Hello. And we are about to have a super grown up evening because we are going to the symphony. And we are doing the grown up equivalent of pre gaming, mm -hmm. which is that instead of drinking booze in a dorm room, we're going to have some champagne at my house. Yay! Yay! Um, so now I'm not going to say that you can never do those like crazy pranks where you're like using a knife to like shoot a champagne cork off. Like maybe stop it. Maybe you're ludicrous and your single has just dropped and you're in a hot tub and the time is right. Like I'm not gonna yes. say that you can never do that. Yeah. But if it's a time when you want something to be a little quieter, here's how you properly open a champagne bottle. Okay, so first, of course, foil comes off. And this is, again, the um, kava that I really, really enjoy. Um, Segura Viudas, really good. <gasps> you brought that to my dinner party. Did you enjoy it? I loved it. See, there you go. And then you take off its little tiny cage. Do you know if there's a name for this thing? There must be. There must be a name. There must be people who are like masters at making them. Craftsmen. Perhaps master, master cage makers. Yeah. Can I do this too? I'm sorry. Okay, so now you have your champagne bottle like this. Um, and what you do is you get a dish towel or something more elegant if you want. And you put it over and you kind of lightly grasp the cork and then you start to do small little, um, a small twist in motion. So you, of course, now that I'm on camera, I can't do this well. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Now I got a grip. So just slowly twist. <laughs> and then see, there you go. Now you have your cork here. No champagne has sprayed out. Um, this is a flawless method for quietly opening champagne. All right, cheers to friendship. To friendship. To friendship. And the symphony. Yeah, totally. We have to drink this fast. Okay.